It appears that Miami, the child, may be on the run after Diddy turned on her in order to protect himself. I'm not sure whether you're aware, but my man Miami is the next in line for Diddy snitching on everyone and everybody in order to rescue himself. She recently came to light for allegedly aiding Diddy in the distribution of nose powder. And as a result, she is reportedly running because she is in serious legal danger with the government. However, 50 Cent's baby mama Daphne Joy was also identified in this case because she was employed by Diddy as an intimacy worker. Thus, she wasn't the only person named in this case. This is a hot, smelly disaster, baby, because 50 is enraged about the whole thing and isn't going to put up with this disrespect. I just know, everyone, that youthful Miami is beginning to repent how. She has been talking non-stop about Diddy and boasting that she will never leave him because she is currently in serious trouble and is unlikely to get out of it easy. She has been boasting for years about how Diddy is her man and how he trusts her with everything. But it appears that she will now have to face the consequences because the federal agents are now pursuing her as well. Diddy's legal troubles date back a few months, when his former girlfriend Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against him. Cassie described in great detail the mistreatment she had received from Diddy during their relationship. Then she gave three additional women permission to sue Diddy on their own. Miami received a lot of criticism despite the fact that she was not named in any of these lawsuits due to her tight relationship with Diddy. It was also mentioned that she had threatened Diddy's other sidekick, Gina Hun, with what sounded like a freak-off. Oh, and let's not even talk about the accusations that she may have assisted him in forcing other women into freak-offs. However, as nothing was filed against her and she was not even referenced in any of the lawsuits, that was all conjecture. That. But things soon turned around when producer Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod, sued Diddy on his own and said that the disco star had committed some heinous crimes during his notorious parties. At the events, he allegedly provided them alcohol and occasionally spilt their drinks without the victim's knowledge or consent, making little girls feel uncomfortable. Additionally, he claimed that Diddy had used at the events where young Miami and other guests were present. The complaints filed against Diddy made reference to Young Miami for the first time at that point. Something wasn't right as we knew. Clearly, she had gone above and beyond to keep her distance from Diddy ever since Cassie filed a lawsuit against him. We realized something was wrong because she hasn't been spotted out in public with him and has even removed images of the two of them from her social media accounts. In the last few months, she has made a concerted effort to change her image. She introduced what she calls her yams era and overall pretended to be a whole different person than she was when she wasn't hanging out with Diddy. However, it's difficult to criticize her because she's attempting to safeguard her reputation and career rather than descend alongside Diddy. And while we had previously believed that she might get away with it, Lil Rob recently updated his court filings and included more information regarding Miami's relationship with Diddy particularly in regards to some illicit things like nose powder, if you get what I mean. He said that Diddy hired Miami to relocate the powder for him whenever he needed it, in addition to the fact that the two of them allegedly used the nose powder together. Irrespective of the time or location, the plaintiff and the Combs Rico Enterprise were practicing for something during the Virginia Festival, according to the court filing. In his dressing room, Plaintiff Jones saw Mr. Combs perform a couple lines of cocaine firsthand. Brendan forgot that Cian Combs, the defendant, had requested TUSI. Thus, Christina, the defendant. Quorum called Young Miami, who flew it out of Miami on the private plane. For those who are unaware, Brendan is Diddy's purported mule, helping Diddy purportedly move his goods throughout the globe. It appears like Miami could serve as Diddy's fallback in the event that Brandon is unavailable or for any other reason. Yes, given that Miami is now being drawn into the matter, it is pretty obvious that she is going to get into major difficulty. Fans' conjectures on social media about her perhaps being into freak-offs with Diddy have evolved into her being revealed as his moving powder. Yes, things don't seem good. For her. Hold on though, because there's more. Additionally disclosed in the court filings was Miami's role as Diddy's go-between. You understand what I mean. Do you recall when it was rumored that Diddy was giving Miami $500,000 a month just because he liked her? Yes, 
The court records showed that there was more to it than his mere fondness for her as his purported personal worker. The court statement stated that Robin Greenhill, the defendant's representative, paid young Miami Jade and Daphne Joy a monthly fee for their services as Mr. Combs employees via wire transfer. Continuing Illicit Activity Tokyo Tony Ben informed us that Miami was Diddy's personal assistant, but at the time, not many people paid her much attention. This makes the story intriguing. Carisha, say I'm single. I don't know who that is. And Carisha is, of course, young Miami from the City oh, Girls. Young. Oh, okay. Um, and she says I'm single, but she's I'm really single. And mind you, she was in a situation with uh, Diddy in there, in a new type of relationship where you could say we're together, but we're single and we're doing this. But now she's like, I'm single, single. She just a girl, <clears throat> as she supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, if it's she for, like, do you see some resemblance? Now, I don't want to say in yourself, but in like some other women who would be like, I'm going to go out here and get this bag because no, the bag is a keep in mind, I don't let my p there out like that, out cage. There you go. No, no. It's a certain type of woman that's going to do a certain type of thing. However, based on the court filings, it appears that Miami is deeper into this than we understand. She's beginning to grasp how serious this is getting, and knows that she is going to get into even more trouble with the federal government than she ever could have imagined. Speaking of her working closely with Diddy, are you all curious about Daphne Joy's identity? That is, 50 Cent's baby mother. Daphne gave birth to a kid in 2012 who is now 12 years old, but she and 50 Cent had a falling out not long after. Daphne and Diddy were occasionally spotted together and had a brief romantic relationship a few years prior. Diddy isn't exactly known for keeping his women, so we assumed that their relationship had soured, but it appears that he kept her employed as an intimate worker. This helps to explain why 50 Cent frequently goes out of his way to tease Diddy or expose him for various reasons, as well as why it seems like he despises Diddy so much. It's kinda disgusting that Diddy made 50's baby mom his worker, and 50 is undoubtedly regaining his lick by making fun of Diddy whenever he gets the chance. Naya being shocked that young Miami is listed in court documents as Diddy's intimate worker? Yes, that's what it's called, you can call it tricking to feel. 50 also shaded her, saying, I didn't know you were a swerker you little swerker lolia, this ish is a movie girl. Better, but that's how it works if you're getting paid for intimacy that is, you're an intimate worker. Thus, it makes sense that Diddy paid young Miami also known as Carisha, by giving her a program of her own and why she consistently won podcast awards over other deserving and more competent podcasters. Now everything becomes sense. Work hard, I got an A. And I get why 50 Cent constantly criticizes Diddy. Diddy was A.S. worker in his BM. Diddy struck the boy in the painful area. That's the reason the guy has been acting in such a Diddy-related manner. Anyway, let me know what you think by leaving a comment below and then watch this next video. The comment section, then watch the next video.